So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Roma Theory. I hope you're all doing well. You thought, you just thought that was the last episode. Well, it's not. Because this situation is becoming even juicier than what we thought. Um, and yeah, because Korsdop will apparently return to Rome. But at the same time, Roma will apparently fine him 30 grand. So God knows what will happen after he gets fined. God knows if he will be back tomorrow. We really don't know anything. And in this live stream, we'll discuss this further. This, will it, do we even call it an ultimatum at this stage? I, I really don't know because it, it feels like this situation has been dragging on for, for, for what, months and months? No, not months, weeks and weeks now. Um, so we'll definitely talk about this. And one thing which I want to touch on in today's stream as well is um, kind of the futuristic transfer market. We are actually looking um, onto this uh, Tim Breithaupt, who is uh, a German midfielder who's basically 20 years old. Um, so uh, we'll discuss about uh, this uh, little contact which Thiago Pinto had uh, with, uh, with this very young player, which is one of those future moves, just like we did with Svilar a couple of, um, a couple of uh, months ago. And, um, and yeah, I mean, where do we start? <sighs> where do we start? Where do we start? Where do we start? Apparently, Korsdorp should be back tomorrow. And Mourinho is, once again, wishing that Korsdorp will be back tomorrow. He expects Korsdorp to be back tomorrow. However, what happens? Korsdorp will be fined 30,000 euros, according to sources very close to Roma, for all of this incident, for all of this situation which happened. Apparently, Korsdorp will be fined, and it's gonna be a heavy fine because it will almost be 25% of his monthly salary. So it's definitely a, it's definitely a harsh call, but it's a heavy fine, and we'll see how Korzov reacts to this fine. Now, we have updates, because Korzdop could potentially be backed. At, tomorrow will be the, will be the day we'll, where we will 100% decide Korzdop's future. And I know I've been saying this for quite a few, a, few, a few live streams right now. Tomorrow is the day. Tomorrow will be the day that where we will know if Korsdop will be reintegrated in the team or if Korsdop will be officially kicked out of the team. Tomorrow will be a day because Mourinho expects Korsdop to respond to his call up, which is tomorrow because the team is getting back tomorrow and leaving for Portugal in a couple of days. Korsdop is getting fined 30,000 euros. And at the same time, apparently, what Korsdorp has apparently told Mourinho is that he will be present tomorrow. He will come to the training session tomorrow, but he has asked Mourinho not to leave for Portugal. So we have now a situation where we have a player who is being forced to come to training sessions, doesn't want to leave with the team for Portugal because he thinks that obviously he's useless to the team now. And in the back stage of everything, we have the club, which is finding him 30,000 euros for this entire situation. It's looking like an absolute mess, like an absolute mess, because I genuinely don't know what we can expect from this. I just, I don't get this, because the, the, the thing which will trigger Mourinho is the fact that Korsdorp has asked not to leave for Portugal. Korsdorp doesn't want to leave. That, that, that basically means Korsdorp is done with Roma. If you are telling me a player has said no to leaving with the team for, a, I mean, it's not a preseason, it's an in-season pre-season, let's call it, in Portugal, then that to me fully means that the player is determined to leave. And that completely changes, I think, what I was thinking a few days ago. Because I actually thought if Korsov had the chance to be reintegrated in the team, he would have been reintegrated in the team. But he has now been given chances 
he has been told that if he wants to leave, he has to find a team which will buy him on a permanent deal. He doesn't want to leave for Portugal, which now means that Jose, at the end of the day, does want to reintegrate in the team. Because if he does want to, if he didn't want to reintegrate in the team, then why would he give him a call up tomorrow? And apparently Korsdorp will say yes to this call up. Apparently Korsdorp will be in Rome tomorrow, but Korsdorp doesn't want to leave for Portugal, which makes zero sense to me. But it's, it, it's the reality of dragging these situations on lo in long terms. This is why this situation has to stop. It has to stop. I, I just hope with all of my heart tomorrow will be the last day of this course of situation. We have to stop dragging this, uh, dragging this forward. We have to stop insisting on course stop. If course stop has said no, I don't want to leave for Portugal with the team, that should be an automatic no to put him out of the team. And I don't care if his attitude lately could have been justified by that medical certificate. You are telling me you don't want to be part of the team anymore. Therefore, you have to be rejected. And don't get me wrong. I just think it is, it could be true that it could be justifiable because he had a, 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 a mental illness, which no one was aware of, which is linked most probably to his family. So we aren't in a position to blame him for such things, but he had the chance to be reintegrated in the team. He, you know, Jose gave him a call up a few weeks ago. Korsdop said no to that call up before leaving to Japan. Therefore, Korsdop didn't leave for Japan. Jose is giving another call up for the player. So Jose is telling us he, 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 he could have the chances of being reintegrated in the team. Korsdop apparently will say yes to this, but at the same time has said no to leaving for, for, for Portugal. That has to be an automatic, right, you're done. I'm, I'm officially done with you. You have to find yourself a team. And I just hope this situation doesn't drag forward. It is so important for the mindset of this team that this situation stops. This situation has to stop. If we drag on this situation further and further and further, involving players, involving staff members, and all of that, we are stabbing ourselves in the heart by ourselves here. We are already in a tough position because we don't seem to be playing good football. Yes, we are still in a really valid position in the Europa League. We're still in a really valid top four clash. We're still, I mean, the Copa Italia still needs to start. We have all of these elements close to each other. We have them in our handful. If these elements get destroyed by a situation like this, then we are absolute idiots. So what does this mean? I think if Korsdorp accepted to leave for Portugal, then I think Korsdorp would have been reintegrated in the team 100%. But apparently Korsop doesn't want to leave. And that has to be an automatic right. I'm done with you. I mean, tomorrow is going to be a big day. Tomorrow we will know if Korsdop will, first of all, accept the call-up. Because yes, people are saying that he will come to training sessions tomorrow, but no one can predict the future. So knowing Korsdop, I wouldn't be surprised if everyone says, yes, 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 don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Oh, yeah, 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 don't, no, no problem, no problem. He'll be, he, he'll be in, in, in the training session tomorrow. I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see Korsdop tomorrow. And then if that's the case, then that's an even more automatic, right, I'm done with you. But, I mean, it could also be true that Korsdop it is being said that Korsdop doesn't, doesn't want to leave for Portugal, but at the end of the day, he does leave for Portugal. So I think tomorrow is going to be a very significant day. The only thing is here, Korsdop can be reintegrated on the team. I couldn't care less. Korsdop can be kicked out of the team. I couldn't care less. This situation has to stop being dragged on. It has to stop. Because it will influence other players. 
Trust me here. This, it doesn't take a genius to understand this. So seeing the fact that, you know, the, 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 the season is restarting in a couple of weeks, these few weeks before Christmas are crucial because Jose needs a confirmation of the players who really want to be part of the team and who don't give an absolute crap. So if that is the case, goodbye Korsdorp. On to the next. That is what I'll say. But yeah, I mean, I'm going to cut calls with the cars up situation. I'm sick of continuing to speak about this. I am tired of keeping to say the same things about cars up. Cars up coming to training sessions. Cars up not coming to training sessions. Cars up saying no to Portugal. Cars up saying yes to... I'm done. Whatever cars up decides, Roma will act upon. And whatever we will see about core stop is gonna happen tomorrow. So it's gonna be, I mean, we can't say much right now. These are just impressions. We'll see how core stop reacts tomorrow uh, to the fine, which is a heavy fine because it's like 25% of his monthly salary. And uh, just to the environment, because you know, the last time core stop was in Rome was after he got blasted by Mourinho. It's been a lot, a lot of things have happened. I'll definitely, it'll, it'll definitely be curious how the other teammates react to this to course up and just how Jose will react to him as well. But yeah, I mean, um, I'll keep you updated when it comes to that. Now, the second thing which I want to touch on is um, a little transfer interest about a very young player who's a uh, German, who plays for the German young national team. Um, and um, he is uh, 2002, so he's 20 years old, almost 21 years old. He's a young player. We're, we've, we've shown interest in him, and apparently Tago Pinto has uh, intensified contract uh, contacts when it comes to this. Let me read you a quote. Um, Tago Pinto would be closely following Tim Breithout, midfielder born in 2002 in Forest at Karlsruhe, uh, who plays in the German, um, German Serie, German Championship, let's call it. He's a midfielder, good in interdiction phase, with the possibility of being deployed also in defense, given his 193 centimeters in height. The German would represent a purchase with a view to the future for the Giallorossi, always attentive to young profiles and perspectives. Fiorentina is also on the boy, as well as several Bundesliga clubs, such as Borussia Dortmund, Bayern Munich, Borussia Mönchengladbach, and Eintracht Frankfurt. Um, so yeah, young German player, Think about the future, and I think I'll tell you one thing. I think it is very important seeing how football has evolved, right? You basically see that every big team has a young gem, a young talent, you know, a, a, one of like looking towards the future. You know, you look at Real Madrid, and they've got the likes of. Chouameni, Rodrigo, Vini is is young as well. I'd classify him as a young player. Um, Camavinga and all of that. You know, you, you look at Barcelona. They have Gavi, they have Pedri, they have several young players. You look at uh, the likes of, uh, what do you want to call it? Uh, another example. You look at the likes of um, Man United. They've got Garnacho. Uh, you see, you look at the likes of Bayern Munich. They've got Musiala, Borussia Dortmund. They've got Bellingham. I just think for a club like Roma, who isn't at those levels, but it'd be wrong to say that their ambitions aren't leaning towards wanting to be a big club. I definitely think the way football has evolved means that you need a gem. You need to find a gem which you can kind of grow and potentially also grow the value of to kind of grow as the center of the team. Now, one thing which I would definitely say is that young gems, 90%, let's, let's say 80%, 80% of young gems, really young gems, which become massive talents for clubs, or normally, normally, there are some exceptions, but they are normally from the country of the club. Now, you look at Barcelona, Gavi and Pedri are both Spanish, in a Spanish club. And I know there are some exceptions, like Bellingham, uh, like um, Rodrigo and all of that. But 80% of the times, 
I would definitely say that if you want to grow a young player, if you want to grow Valorize and, and do all of that with a young player and slowly build him towards the center of your team, 90% of the times you need a player which is from your country. Don't ask me why, it's just the way it works. But obviously, the more young players we're interested in, the more the chance increases. I expect more transfer signings like this. This is, is an official. We've just shown interest. There are other clubs. There's a lot of competition. But what you definitely will see happen is for someone who's German, who's 2002, plays in the German second league, and you've got German Bundesliga clubs like Borussia Dortmund, uh, Bayern Munich, Eintracht Frankfurt, and all of these clubs interested in him, you will see him as a matter of instinct choosing clubs from his own country. And this is just how the way it works. This is why we are interested in him. Don't get me wrong, anything can happen. But I do think when it comes to very young players, especially if they have interest from clubs who come from their country, they will definitely follow that option to grow more, to grow their confidence, to get to know the German league even more. And if they then, from there, start you know growing and growing and growing more and more and more and more and more, then obviously international uh, transfers will happen, international clubs will show more interest. But as of now, I mean, it's great that we're interested in these kind of players, but at the same time, the fact that Bayern Munich, Borussia Dortmund, Eintracht Frankfurt, Mönchengladbach are all interested in him isn't promising. I definitely think he will choose a German club. But that means that we kind of... And we're a lucky side when it comes to young players because of the academy team we have. Yes, not everyone in our academy team will be the same as Bellingham, the same as Musiala, but... We have to be, you know, we have to be good at selecting some, we have to be good at buying some, because obviously the future of teams will be built around these players. So it's definitely important to pay close attention to them. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna call it quits today. I hope uh, you enjoyed today's stream. I'll definitely give you a massive course of update tomorrow, uh, because tomorrow will be the big day. Tomorrow is the biggest day. Course of should potentially be back training, uh, and course of uh, will decide. As of now, it's more of a no than a yes, but we'll decide um, if he wants to leave for Portugal. I think Mourinho will play a big part tomorrow. We'll try and convince him and all of that. We'll try and speak to him and try to understand what his objectives are. So, um, yeah, I'll catch you tomorrow. If you haven't already, please make sure to smash that subscribe button, smash the like button. If you haven't already, let me know in the comments. I don't know, just your impressions on this course up situation. Uh, yeah. Let me know how you feel because I'm 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 just fed up of speaking about this constantly. So yeah, let me know, and um, and yeah, stay tuned because uh, in a couple of uh, days I will be announcing the Christmas giveaway on the channel. So um, yeah, I'll catch you soon. Simon out.